Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to my whole house organizational extravaganza. Basically, since we've been practicing social distancing recently and having to stay home in isolation over the past few weeks, I decided to really make use of this time and basically do some spring cleaning all around the house. I had a lot of areas that needed to be reorganized, including my pantry, my glam room, and Zaya's playroom. Honestly, there were more areas than that, but those are the the three that I'm focusing on for this video. Starting off with the pantry, I actually did a whole video last year talking all about how I originally set this up and where I bought everything from. So definitely check out my pantry video if you haven't seen that. One of the shelves broke off the wall because it was never built properly to begin with. And my builder had to go in and fix it, but everything fell off the shelf. Everything was in shambles. Everything had to be moved out the way so that they could fix the shelf. So my pantry just got all messed up and I never really like fixed it since then so now i am taking the time to number one go through all the food that's in there because admittedly i do have some expired products some stale stuff in there that has just been sitting there for far too long I do feel really bad about wasting food. I know you guys are probably cringing at me, you know, throwing food away. And I know, I, I get it, but I'm not a perfect person, okay? So I'm just going through and throwing away anything that is no longer good. And then of course, I just want to reorganize everything. I did purchase a few extra plastic containers and baskets to add on because as I've continued to live in this house, now that I've been here for a little bit longer, I've kind of settled in and now I can see that I need a few more baskets for this or I wanna have this and that. Next, I'm just rearranging and refilling all of the bins and baskets. I do buy a lot of snacks and food items in bulk from like Costco or whatever. So I like to refill these bins so that it's easily grabbed throughout the day and it just looks nicer rather than just keeping it in the boxes that they come in. Moving on to the right side of the pantry, this is kind of my designated storage section for any type of entertaining supplies, stuff that I use for parties or holidays. And obviously you can see that I have some paper goods up at the top as well. I got lucky during this whole quarantine thing and I actually had just gone to Costco right before all of this happened, not knowing that toilet paper was going to become a huge issue. On the left side of the pantry, this is where I keep all of the backup bulk items. So all the bulk snacks and stuff like that go hidden over here, as well as you can see all the alcohol bottles at the top. I don't really drink, I mostly just have this for entertaining. And then I also have a thing that holds all the plastic grocery bags because I like to recycle and reuse these. So I'm just refilling that and fixing up the bottles and then I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum. I love this Dyson vacuum. I recommend it to everyone. I can link it down below for you guys. It is life-changing. To finish off the pantry, I had some help from my personal assistant. She refilled all of these spice jars, my little custom spice jars. I just usually buy spices in bulk and refill them and you know, popcorn and different things like that that you can buy in bulk. And then since I did add some extra baskets to the pantry for extra categories of food now, I did have my mom make some matching Cricut labels on her Cricut machine so that it would match the rest of the baskets. If you guys wanna know how she made these labels and everything like that, that it was included in my first pantry organizational video. So like I said earlier, I can link that down below for you guys. And now I am done and I'm super happy with it. I feel so much better. It's just so nice to be able to walk into an organized pantry rather than a pantry in shambles.
on to the next area, which is Zaya's playroom upstairs. Zaya is almost four years old and I really wanted her to have a designated spot in the house to kind of keep all her stuff in one area and kind of hide the mess. But I do also still want to keep it looking nice up there and keep it organized. And lately it has just gotten a little out of hand. So what I am asking her to do first off is just to go through and pick up all the trash. I like to have Zaya help me when it comes to like her own stuff or her own spaces, just so that she understands that it is her responsibility as well. So she's helped me pick up all the trash. And then these boxes, all the cubbies, they are supposed to be holding individual categories of toys. But as of right now, it's literally just a jumbled up mess in every single box. It's like, I don't even know what's in there. She's been complaining recently that she can't find what she's looking for. So I'm like, the only way we can do this is if we take all the stuff out and dump it out and sort through it. So that is exactly what we're doing. I dumped everything out and I'm just having Zaya help me sort them into categories. The categories that we landed on for the four boxes, which are gonna be holding her toys, are play food, dress up, baby doll, and Peppa Pig. And I just tried to make it into a game, you know, make it like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt, whatever you wanna call it to make it sound more fun and just have her help me sort through and find what goes in each category. And then anything else that does not belong in any of those four categories is probably either trash or it's broken or it's something that she doesn't need or doesn't play with. I actually found a lot of little like McDonald's Happy Meal toys or like little toys that you get as like party favors, just, you know, those lower quality toys that I know she doesn't really care about. So I took all those out and I put them in our donation pile. Next up, I also wanted to organize her homeschooling stuff. I have a lot of kind of like educational books and things like that. And so I made four more categories for those, reading, math, Spanish, and something that I'm calling puzzles because I didn't really know what else to call it. It was really nice to actually be able to categorize it into subjects. And you'll notice that I'm just using painter's tape to create these temporary labels for the bins right now. That is because I am planning on doing a whole playroom makeover for this room and making everything all cute and custom and of course custom cute labels. So stay tuned for that. The final steps for now were just to put everything away, vacuum up, and also use a handy dandy Mr. Clean magic eraser to erase a few little accidents here and there. And then that was it for the playroom. Now moving on to my glam room slash studio room. This is definitely the biggest project out of this whole video, the most unorganized. We're gonna have to put the most work into this room, so I saved the best for last. As you can see, just utter shambles. Just, I can't even explain this to you. I have no excuse, it is just a mess. And I decided that I really wanted to add to my Ikea pack system, these shelves with these drawers I started off with three columns and I really felt like four columns was a better idea. So I went ahead and ordered that. And so in the meantime, I wanted to get started by washing all of my makeup brushes. So I actually had my personal assistant help me with that. We got all the makeup brushes from all around the room. It was crazy to see how many brushes I have actually accumulated and dirtied over time. And she was washing the makeup brushes while I actually went into the bathroom of this room because I had a whole closet full of extra products and stuff that just needed to be sorted through. I mean, this has no rhyme or reason to it at all. Some of these products are brand new. Some of them are opened and used. Some of them I need to keep. Some of them I really need to give away. So I was sorting through each individual product and deciding what I was gonna keep, what needed to be thrown away, and what needed to be given away. A question that I get all the time is, what do I do with all of this excess product? It's makeup, skincare, hair care, 
skincare, all types of stuff. And the number one thing that I always do is just give it away, whether that be to a friend or a family member or to a women's shelter and different organizations like that, or just straight to my social media followers, my YouTube subscribers. So definitely stay tuned on all of my social media platforms to see what kind of giveaways I'm gonna be doing. I actually recently cut back on the amount of PR packages that I was even accepting from different makeup and skincare brands because as you can see, it does create a lot of waste, but I still do have an excess, so I still definitely do give stuff away. So like I said, I wanted to expand my Ikea shelving unit into a four column shelving unit, mainly because I was kind of already outgrowing the three columns. And after looking at it, I felt like it kind of just looked weird. Like there was a spot kind of missing right there on that wall anyway. So I was like, why not just do the whole wall? actually had to do it in such a way where I actually had to move the right side column that was already there and insert the new column into the middle. Just with the way that everything was shaped, I wanted it to look symmetrical. So it kind of turned into this whole like construction project, but I had a lot of help from my mom and my personal assistant once again. Then I wanted to tackle all of the products that were just kind of strewn around the room, especially at my table, my vanity table where I normally get ready. I had stuff just piled up. So I wanted to pick all that up, sort through it. Put it back in the drawers where it goes. I also kind of had to think about how I was going to label or use the new set of drawers that have now been added on. And because of the way that everything was shifted, all the products that were in the existing column had to be moved into the new column and everything had to get shifted over so that it would make sense. So I had to move all my products over. I had to put all my products away. I wanted to definitely like wipe things down, things that were like extra powdery and extra grimy, wipe those down with the Clorox wipe before I put them in the drawer. I obviously own a lot of makeup because I collect makeup. So it does take a while to sort through each individual product and make sure that it goes in its designated drawer. And I just had not been doing a good job keeping up with it as I was using the products. That is something that I definitely need to get better at. Cleaning as I go and making sure that this room stays organized so that I don't have to do such a big thing every few months to try to get it back in order. So I had a lot of products that somehow ended up in that bathroom closet since I sorted that out I can now bring them out into the room and actually put them in the drawers and then I was able to actually add new stuff into the drawers that didn't ever have a spot to begin with so I'm actually with this new column turning it into kind of the camera section or like filming equipment section surprisingly I've never had a designated spot to hold all of my cameras and camera accessories I don't know they just kind of just been sitting on my desk or sitting on the floor in my office so I want to have individual drawers for all of my cameras, for all of my camera accessories, and actually set up a charging drawer. feed a plug through the back of the shelving unit into the outlet that's actually a perfectly placed outlet on the wall right there. I 
have all of my different batteries charging in there in one spot and it's out of sight. Another extra drawer that I added is the new PR or like new product drawer. This is where my personal assistant is going to go and check my PO box, check my mail. She's gonna get my packages for me. That's something that's kind of on her job description. And that way she can kind of open them, put everything in this drawer, and then I can come back and check this drawer like every day or every week, see what's in there, see what I wanna keep, see what I may wanna talk about on my social medias, and then see what I wanna give away, move the giveaway stuff into the giveaway drawer. So it's like a little system. And then every so often actually host a giveaway or actually donate stuff out of the giveaway drawer. So it just keeps everything cycling through the drawers. That way nothing is just like sitting in a closet being forgotten about and not getting used or donated. A few little finishing touches to the room were to remove the stains from the carpet because I had a lipstick explosion underneath my vanity. So I just used some carpet cleaner to get those stains out. They came up really easily. This Shout stain remover and this 409 carpet cleaner works really well. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Also, my carpets are like easy clean type carpets. So I'm glad about that. I also wanted to, of course, wipe down my actual vanity table and all the surfaces in there. No. And I had to kind of rearrange the room because it felt really cluttered in the beginning with all the different items and pieces of furniture that I had in there. So I took down my clothing rack. I decided I don't really need that. I also got a smaller tabletop for my like filming table. This table is on wheels. I kind of just use it in different areas of the room depending on what I'm filming in here. But the table that I had in here, it was just kind of a hand-me-down from before. And I just felt like it was too big. It was taking up too much space. So I got a smaller tabletop, but kept the legs and just attach the legs to this table that way it would just give me a little bit more wiggle room in this room I also moved all of my lights into the closet I'm glad to have the actual closet and linen closet in the bathroom connected to this room because it does allow for a lot of excess storage if I want to keep stuff out of sight I also had my mom make some Cricut labels for the drawers again I needed more labels anyway since I added more drawers but then I also noticed that some of the existing labels were peeling off off and just not looking too good. So we decided that a different type of label might work better. So we made all new labels, peeled off the old ones and added all the new ones. By adding this extra column to this shelving unit, it also added extra display shelves. So I had been using the top shelves to just kind of display my more like collector's items or keepsake makeup YouTube related items that I just personally wanted to have on display. So I kind of rearranged that a little bit, added some extra stuff that I wanted to display. To me, it's like a little makeup museum. I know it may just look like junk to a lot of you, but it really reminds me of like how far I've come in my YouTube career and different collaborations that I've done and stuff like that. I'm also really glad now that I have a designated shelf to hold all of my makeup brushes because I didn't have space for them before and that was kind of causing clutter, but now they look really cute and lined up on their own little shelf. So now the whole entire room is cleared out. It's organized. All of the drawers are organized. All of my makeup is put away. I feel like I have a much better system now to you know, store my camera equipment and to go through new packages and do giveaways and stuff like that. I just think this is gonna work out a lot better to keep this room looking nice and keep everything functioning properly. And I also do want to start a podcast and this room would be the podcast studio. So now that it's all cleared out, I feel like I'm gonna be a lot more productive with actually doing those things.
definitely make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on so that you don't miss out on my upcoming content. Like I said, I will be doing a full room makeover for Zaya's playroom, as well as creating a craft room upstairs too. So definitely stay tuned for that.